And welcome back to another video. So today I'll be taking a look at the Advanced Compass add-on. So the compass is probably one of the most useless items in all of Minecraft. Uh, only being a slight, a bit more useful than the recovery compass, which is probably the most useless ad item in all of Minecraft. Um, that actually has a use, unlike the poison, you know, unlike. You know, unlike the person is potato that it really doesn't have a use, it is uh, the most useless. Like, because, you know, the compass, it uh, points to world spawn and that's it. You can make, use it to, to make a locator maps. And you can use it on a, on a, uh, load, yeah, on a lodestone, I think, lodestone, which, um, look, ah. Uh, Da. No, it's not lodestone. Oh yeah, Lo oh no way. Uh, which is uh, which requires another right ingot, so they're very expensive. So, um, yeah. So maybe this might uh, improve the compasses a bit. Now, let's take a look at the guidebook. So there's compass types. Usage ideas, global settings, and credits. So let's take a look at global settings. Here you can change global settings for your compass. Right, so, so yeah, so you can. Oh, it's just quite uh, quite a few. So who should the compass be able to find? So anyone on any online players, players who have a player compass in their inventory, player who have a player compass in their hand, the will. The target. I don't know what the world target means. Uh, track last known position when a player target is no longer valid. The connecting point to the yeah. So you do that, and then you can find them when they're offline. Uh, what uh, family of entities can the entity compass track? So that so that's any you can do. In inanimate mobs and monsters, you can do mobs and monsters, monsters only, inanimate only, or none. The vanilla style dis displays compass and menu, disables uh, compass menus, compass feedback test, feedback sound, then the, the compass feedback particles, compass refresh rate, how often the compass uh, refreshes per minute, entity location refresh rate, and player location refresh rate. So yeah, uh, let's take a look at the compass types. <laughs> Uh, so, oh, is this just by the same people that did, yeah, that did, like, the computers add-on? Because they, they like to put, uh, the redstone circuit in this stuff. So, yeah, redstone dust, repeaters, and sand. So, redstone circuit. One. Well, actually, why am I grabbing this text today? Because I don't really. I'm not going to be doing any crafting, so I don't need them. So, compass type. So, there's North Compass. This will uh, point north. It's crazy there haven't been any compass that just point north until now. To craft this one, you need the following reeds. A redstone circuit and two iron and the, the iron ingots. So, yeah, redstone circuit, circuit uh, surrounded uh, by uh, iron ingots. So, let me grab one of these. Oh, they stuck. Okay, so, yeah, they put this points north. So, that's north. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. I can, yeah. Yeah, this is north. And uh, this is useful because, uh, in Minecraft, mobs spawn on the northeast block. 
So if we know that's north, then we know that's east, that's south, and that's west. So if you need to find the northeast block, you just like, okay, so it's corner of the block, so it's this corner here. Pretty sure it's northeast. So, yeah, actually they changed that uh, in, well, for normal mob spawn, in structures like, uh, like guardian, like, uh, oh, uh, yeah, like guardian spawning in the, uh, uh, in the ocean monument, ocean temple, or whatever it's called, and the uh, pillagers spawning at the outpost, they still spawn on the north east corner of the block. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, uh, useful. Uh, then we've got spawn compass. This will point to your current spawn location. If a bed hasn't been slept in or a uh, respawn anchor hasn't been used, it will point to the default world spawn. To craft one, you need the following ingredients. Uh, uh, one redstone circuit, three red wool, and one white wool. Spawn. So yeah, you can see that my spawn point is right about here. Uh, this this is handy if you like, uh, you know, uh, doing explore and then you get lost. This will just like point you back to your way, uh, to your spawn point. Uh, and it's really uh, and like in the Nether, if you've got like a uh, uh, like uh, the Nether anchor at your Nether portal, then it'll help you find your way back to your Nether portal. There's location compass. You can use this compass to track any uh, set of coordinates. Just use it and it'll automatically log the coordinates of the block you're looking at, even if it's a chunk away. If you're looking in the air, it'll open a menu so you can put in any coordinate you like. To craft one, you need the following. So, a redstone circuit surrounded by co four copper ingots. So, uh, I'm just gonna put com. So it was the location compass. This one doesn't uh, stack. So you, uh, if you look up, you can enter the coordinates. You can choose the different dimensions. But if you look down, so yeah, it tra it'll uh, go to that block. So uh, yeah. If I turn around, it's behind me. So yeah, again, you can use this to help you not get lost in the Nether, or I just like exploring in the Overworld, or you can use it to help you find some uh, a structure. So if you're using a chunk basis seed map, and then you uh, and you find like a structure or something you want to go to, uh, you just right click in the air, then you can put in the coordinates of the structure you want to find, so like say zero, let's just say zero, 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 submit. And it'll take you to, uh, yeah, oh, I'm way closer to zero, zero than I thought I was. Yeah, then it'll uh, point you in the direction of that, uh, of the uh, structure. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, definitely useful. Uh, compass type. So then we have the player compass. This compass tag is player and it uh, complies with the following. Add on settings, adjust the settings in the area. Track any players while online. Track last position of offline players. Use the compass to track a player in front of it. Of you or in the air to choose any other player. If the player is it is in another dimension, it will uh, point to the coordinates of uh, where they left the dimension you're currently. You know that's really cool. So yes, but since there's a redstone circuit surrounded by four gold ingots. So player compass. 
This one does not stack. So yeah, there's no players online. So I can't really show this off, but... Uh, uh, but actually, if I... I think I'm still logged into my nephew's account on my phone. So I should be able to join on my phone. And show that off. But let's just go through this while that's turning on. So there's play compass, entity compass. Uh, this compass can target entities according to the coin to settings. It can track the following types of entities. Any if the compass cannot find the entity due to being unloaded or despawning, it will spin around randomly to craft this. So you will need the following redstone circuit surrounded by four amethyst shards. Uh, oh, there is entity compass. So items, item nearby, item nearby, so yeah. And this is spark by M tester, so yeah, that's just like, uh, yeah, that, so. Yeah, it's pointing to these items over here. If I swarm on a sheep, sheep, So then it's a point to that sheep. But if I go far enough away, it'll unload. Okay, why is it not unloading? Pretty sure my simulation distance isn't that high. It's not. Hmm. Yeah, man, unload already. Nope, still not unloaded. Alright, so, yeah, I think it's... Yeah, so I don't think it does start... I think it just tracks its last known location when it gets unloaded. But if I summon a sheep here, will it point to that sheep instead? No. So, it always points to the last sheep. Oh, there you even have that little thing there. So, this is tiny limited, slightly limited, so it would be cool if it just tra if it just like gave you a list of entities in alphabetical order, uh, and you could even like, and you can even like different sections, so like, uh, passive, hostiles, and the, de uh, inanimate, and then you could just like, click one and it would track the nearest entity of that kind. And that'd be cool, but with it only tracking that specific sheep, then it makes it more limited use. So yeah, that could definitely be improved. Uh, well, it's not a bad idea. It just needs to just needs to be to reworking. Me, friends, me. Download and join. Oh no, I think I'm going too fat. Yeah, there it is, there's Bob. Why did my thing make a noise when they joined? Oh, there he is. So, now I can, yeah. 
So now I can track him. It points to him. If I turn around, it points in. So yeah. And now if I just uh, go here and I move them around. You see it uh, moves with him and then if I go to the never. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So he's in the never now. Ah. So yeah, it's not tracking him through. So the book, I thought, I could have sworn the book said that if they went to the another dimension, it would uh, point to their last known location in the overworld. I guess that's not quite functional. Let me double check. Compass types. Play a compass. It will point to the corners of where they left the dimension you're currently in. Yeah, but it's, that's uh, that's not quite true. But then all I need to do is go back into the nether, and you can see that it points directly to him. Ah, so wait. Ah, so that's working now. I think we after I killed him. So maybe it's just not uh, working properly. Uh, so let me just. Oh, there's another fortress right there. Teleport me to him. Oh, wait, yeah, I need to respawn. Oh, yeah, no, it was because he was in the death screen. Now it's not working again. Yeah. There you go. So that's cool, but uh, the, like, tracking... Get their last known location before they went to a new dimension needs work. Boom. Uh, but yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty cool add on. Cool. Uh, and definitely has some uses. Uh, it's just got some issues I need working out. Uh, usage ideas. Uh, so there are multiple different so I'm just going to turn this off uh, there are multiple different compasses you can use for a variety of reasons there's a few ideas to stretch what you can do with them world target give all players a player compass and choose a target once the target is chosen all players must defeat that target while they try to get away. For an extra challenge, set them to as the world target in the admin menu. This way the target can locate the hunters as all player compasses will point to their location. Uh, yeah, so that, that's basically just like manhunt. So yeah, you can, put, you can play manhunt to give like all the hunters a compass. So yeah, so that, that, that could be fun. Hide and seek, similar to world target, but the opposite. Now the seeker is given a uh, player compass, and they must find all the other players uh, to increase or decrease at the difficulty. Uh, try adjusting the player location and refresh rate. That way, the player compass may only update to your location every couple of seconds to a minute instead of immediately. Uh, yeah, that that could also be like fun with like uh, the morph gauntlet, uh, morphing into like different mobs. Uh, if you have like uh, so you can do that in someone's space. Uh, treasure hunt using a location compass. Set it to a specific award in it and put a review reward in a chest. Then give the compass to a friend to find the chest for an extra challenge around 
the treasure with traps. Uh, with this, you could also just like do like a kind of like a uh, treasure room kind of thing. So I would like go to a chest that has another compass that goes to another chest, and there's like puzzles in between the chests. Uh, I can't remember what it was called, but Green did something like that in him in him craft. I can't remember which season it was, but it was like the season with the badge. Um. Find my wolf friend. The entity compass is unique, is unique in that you can find the different kinds of mobs and entities. When you open the menu to select things, you will see a list of available entities to track. If you have named a wolf or anything else for that matter, the list will show their name instead. This is a great way to keep track of your and even others, other players' pets. The Great Race. Give each player a locator compass and have everyone enter the same coordinator. Hundreds of blocks away. Three, two, one, go for for extra fun. Prepare some prizes for the win. So that's some, yeah, so wait. So yeah, that's some cool ideas of what you can do with the compasses. I've not actually seen anybody like uh, put something like that in their add on before, like examples of like how you can use uh, some of the items. Well, that's pretty cool, mind you. Some of them you don't really need. I like the power suits, like you don't really need. To explain, uh, to explain like uh, how to use a power suit, really. Uh, but yeah, uh, pretty decent add-on. A couple of things that could be improved. Uh, is there any compasses I would like to see added? Hmm. Oh, uh, I don't know if they can do this, but a biome compass would be nice. They'd like you to uh, right-click with it and select a biome. Yeah, well, you'd select a dimension face, so like Overworld or Never. Uh, there's only one biome in the end. And then uh, you can select a biome from the overworld or the never, and it, uh, it would point you in the location of the nearest biome uh, of uh, of that type. Uh, the another uh, one that I would like to see, but I don't know if they can do, uh, is a structure compass. You basically open it up again. You uh, and then you pick from the three dimensions, Overworld, Never, and End. And then you pick uh, one of the uh, uh, structures that is in that dimension. So like uh, Woodland Mansion or uh, or like um, uh, a, tri a trial chamber or a witch hut or whatever you want for the overworld and then you have like the never fortress and piglin bastions in the never and then you have the end cities in the end and then it would just like point you to the nearest uh one of them uh and uh, and uh, obviously like uh, like i said with the uh with the uh entity one uh it, you know once you get far enough away and there's another one of that uh uh, thing in it in the, uh, in like you know closer to you than the other one than the first one, then it uh, locks onto the uh, second one instead of just uh, remaining locked onto the first one and that uh, for both of them. But yeah, they would be pretty cool. But I don't know. I don't even know if that's possible. I'm gonna lean on to like it's probably not possible right now. Uh, but uh, maybe one day it would be cool to see them added. But yeah, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. I hope you found it informative. And I think I have a Discord link down in the description. It's free to join if you want to join. And there's a, a Discord member well if you want to join that. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.